Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're going to talk about the condition anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a, is a life-threatening condition caused by your body's overreaction to something that is actually not harmful. So anaphylaxis, uh, the symptoms of anaphylaxis occur all because of this cell called the mast cell, M-A-S-T cell. Now the mast cell inside has got these things called mediators that respond to, to uh, a, a situation where your body is being attacked. Now, unfortunately, when your body is, thinks it's being attacked to something as simple as a peanut or uh, a bee sting or another allergen, an allergen is just something that is um, external that comes in and your body thinks it's basically something that does attack your body. When your body um, has this condition of, when you have anaphylaxis, your body overreacts and this mast cell is activated so inside this mast cell, you've got things like histamine. I'm sure you've all heard of histamine before. You can buy the antihistamines over the counter. And you also have these things called interleukins and prostaglandins. Yeah, you can go away and read around these things at any time. Now, when you come into contact with the allergen, so the peanut, the bee sting, whatever it is, it activates the mast cell, which op causes openings in, in the mast cell. So the mast cell wall starts to destabilize and starts to degranulate. Now, once it's open, all the internal things we've just mentioned, the histamine, the prostaglandins, the interleukins, they open up and they, they, the, the mast cell opens up and they all come out and they flood into your bloodstream and they produce the immune system response of inflammation. It's all designed to protect your body when it really is being attacked by something that it needs to be protected from. But like I said, with, with anaphylaxis, it's an overreaction to something that's not life-threatening, like pollen even, for example. Now, Anaphylaxis is actually linked really closely to eczema and asthma and hay fever. They're all part of the same family. It's your body's immune system that's overreacting. Now, when you have a patient who's got anaphylaxis, anaphylaxis really is the life-threatening version of allergic reaction. And these patients will have swollen eyes, they'll have swollen lips, they'll have swollen tongues, they'll have swollen throats. They may have one or all of these. And these patients really do require a, a fast treatment they require you guys to be providing um, adrenaline really, really quickly. Adrenaline really is the, the drug that's going to bring this patient out of this. How adrenaline works is it stabilizes that mast cell wall, stopping it getting even worse, and it stops the blood vessels becoming leaky. So all these things that we talked about, the interleukins, the histamine, they create your blood vessels to be leaky, uh, leaky which is what drops your blood pressure. And of course, the, the adrenaline, which is a wonderful drug, it stabilizes that mast cell wall and it re-solidifies that leakiness so it stops your, your, your blood pressure from dropping any further. Uh, and it all works because you're giving it intramuscularly. It works within a number of minutes. So it's an amazing drug. So you need to recognize anaphylaxis, give the uh, IM adrenaline quickly, manage the airway secondary to the IM. And of course, um, you can do that with your crewmates. So one of you can manage the airway, one of you can draw up the adrenaline if you're working in pairs. Uh, give some oxygen if there's signs of hypoxia, and then gently recover your patient as they're coming around. Okay, I, ho I hope you've enjoyed this, um, this micro lecture on anaphylaxis. My name is Sam Willis, and I will speak to you again shortly. Take care, guys.